G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. One of the problems with beautiful straight fences is that sometimes the ground isn't. We can also have animals like wombats and things like that dig underneath our fences and become pioneer animals for holes in the ground that we can lose our stock through. Maybe like me, in the past, you've kept a selection of old broken steel posts specifically for the purpose of pinning down these bits of fence to make them more stockproof. Well, there are problems with that, aren't there? I mean, as they rust, you can end up with lovely spear points for stock to skewer themselves on, and it makes your fence look like an absolute mess. Well, it turns out there's a better solution. This little gadget is called the Fence Harpoon by Wireman. And for under three bucks, it allows you to safely, securely, and neatly tie down your fences, solving the problem of escaping stock. Let's put one together and see how it works. This nifty little gadget actually has two parts. A piece of wire that's about 30 centimetres long. It's bent in half and it's got two prongs on it. And then it's got this little arrowhead, which looks like some kind of medieval weapon. The two pieces join together quite easily. Hold the wire in your hand with the hooks pointing towards you. Then slide the arrowhead down onto the two hooks, engaging in the rear of the arrowhead with it pointing towards your hand. Then, with the fletchers now engaged, push the arrowhead between the wires and they then automatically hook into these slots and the whole setup is complete. Now that you've got the two parts of the ground anchor assembled together, there's one critical step that's really important. If you put this ground anchor onto the head like that and hammer it into the ground, the wire will bend and hold the arrowhead firmly against the ground anchor and it won't pull out. So what you have to do is you've got to bend the wire to make it look flat like this. And it's super easy to do this. Just bend the wire firmly in the slots, get a pair of pliers and flatten the whole thing out. And now you're ready to apply your freshly built ground anchor. I locate a section of the fence that needs to be pulled down to the ground. I then have to load the ground anchor into this slide hammer style applicator. To load this applicator is slightly counterintuitive. You would think that you would have the valley pointing upwards. You don't. You actually have it pointing downwards. This helps the release of the ground anchor. You then load the ground anchor arrowhead underneath, locating it into the two slots on the hammerhead. Now we're ready to anchor our fence. We can just hold on to the wire, locate it where we want it to go, and start hammering. Now to use the slide hammer, there's a little clip at the top that you engage. This allows the slide hammer to move up and down on the rod, allowing you to ram your ground anchor home. Stop when you get to the point where the loop on the top of your ground anchor is about that high above where you want your fence to be. When you get to that point, disengage your slide hammer and simply pull it out. That loop is now solid as a rock in the ground. It's not going anywhere. All we have to do now is attach the loop of the ground anchor to our fence, bringing the fence down to the level we want it. Now that our ground anchor is securely in the ground, pull the fence down to the height you want it to be and use the best tool, I reckon, in the shed, a four inch nail. And just wind the ground anchor around the fence, securing it in place and stopping it from being pulled up out of the ground. So there you have it, a little tool we never knew we needed, but something that's going to improve the condition of our fences and stop our stock getting out for years to come. I know that plenty of people are prepared to spend up to $3 on a single fence joiner so they don't have to learn how to tie a knot. For the same money, you can buy now a gadget that'll hold your fence to the ground where you've got a dip or a low spot and stop your stock getting out. I can't see an economic reason not to have a go at these. There was a bit of learning that I had to do in using these ground anchors. For such a simple tool that seems so simple, there are a couple of big no-nos. The first is, don't ever try and attempt to put them in the ground without bending the wire onto them properly first because they will always jam on the applicator. The other thing I learnt, of course, was using the applicator. Don't load it with the valley to the top. Instead, flip it around and load it 
from underneath. It just works so much better and it's so much more reliable. This tool's actually a whole heap of fun. If any of you out there are frustrated old men of the sea, now you get to harpoon something and call it work. Guys, if you like this video, please do hit the little subscribe button down there, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget, you've got heaps of content waiting for you on timthompson.ag, blogs, product reviews, links, and more. I'll see you next week.